So what I'm going to try and do today is I'm going to try and stay £5 under. See if I can find anything decent under the £5 mark. Now that I'm on a car view, I'm starting to look at things other than clothing. And I've just seen this here. This is a Sony, one of these iPhone dock things. It's not in bad condition at all. I don't know where the wires are though. If there's no wires, I'm not going to pick it up. But guess how much it is? £5. So if the wires are with it, I think that'll be pretty good. Hiya, you alright? Yeah, thank you. Do you know if this has got any wires to it? Not working, eh? oh, yeah. yeah, that should fit in the back, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's the one, yeah. yeah. Cool, that's a bit of a result normally. It's always bad news when it's like that, isn't it? These Converse are, again, bang on £5, but there's so much of it that they don't sell. I mean, obviously they sell, but there's so many on there, yours kind of gets lost in the in the wilderness, doesn't it? So, I never pick them up, so why are we trying to pick up now? That was sleep, really. The shark thing is £10. It's probably going to be a no unless it bangs. So let's just have a look. Okay, so the closest one I can see is there. It went for 40, what, well, 50 quid. So it's not a banger. Cost £10. We're going to leave it. Comes with all the good stuff, though. What? No, 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 no. £5 under. Five and under. Now there's a Nintendo Wii console here. And it could probably sell, but it's a tenner. So, regardless, we're going to try and leave that. But we left it, haven't we? So, let's try and find some clothes. Just seen this Moncler t shirt. It's not very often I see Moncler at all, because obviously it's one of these big high end brands. But I'm pretty sure this is a fake one. Like, I'm just looking at the stitch it already. You can see that. I don't know if you can see that, but stitching is way off, man. And even how the label's been put on, well put in, look at that. Just looks like that's just been a hack job. Just trying to slot one in, so. Even though it's five pound, it's gonna just stay here. It's as if I see Moncler all the time, do you mean? It's like, oh yeah, I've just seen the Moncler. But yeah, if you see it, it's really good. But it's always fake. These the G-Star jeans. Now they look like the standard, but the five pound again, but waist 28 tells me that the more than likely a women's one. And if you look here, let's see if we can find it right there. Limit loose women. I've never sold a pair of G Star jeans, well, women's G Star jeans ever. Like I bought a couple and they just they just stay there. Right? It's like they don't even exist. So we're going to leave them as well. Now, this Paul Smith t shirt this is like one of the newer label ones, but it's just like a plain blank one. And I think it's pretty cool to be honest. I do like a blank tee. Um, it's got the little pierce at the bottom here. And it's £3. It's a small, that's the only thing I don't like about it. But I'll give that a good little steam up. I think that'd be quite nice. Thank you, Roach. Yeah. Cool. So we're sticking to it. We've already got two items, both at £5. So I think we're doing all right. I used to love watching this when I was younger. Oh, these are, I think they're not 50p each though, but possibly, I mean, together, maybe like £10, £15, so it's under five, eh? Should I take them? I think I'll take them. Forget it. I'm taking them. I'm taking them. Oh, I think we found another decent one. This is Patagonia. It's a Patagonia shirt. It's £3. Nothing crazy, but for £3, I'm definitely going to take it. It's quite a nice size as well. It's uh, XL, organic cotton, all that kind of stuff. So, three quid. We're doing it, we're doing it. And another decent find there, Edwin jeans. These are regular tapered ones. What and they are £3.50. I don't know, this doesn't normally happen to be honest. I don't find Patagonia, Edwin all in the same place for under a fiver, so yeah. Let's just check if there's any holes in it. I think they're pretty good. £3.50 for that. Yo, this is not too bad. I thought I was gonna struggle today, so I think we're doing okay. Oh, mum's calling. You know what? They don't sell for a lot. I think maybe like eight, nine pounds, but it's 75p. And we're going away this weekend. I think this might be quite good. There's quite a few of us going. So I think this would be hilarious, man. I used to love catchphrase back in the days. So I think that'd be really good. That'd be a really good one to play. Now, this is a bit interesting. This is like a Nike track top, but it's a silver tag one. It's large. Five pound. Nike stuff is again saturated, so it takes a while. But I think this vintage stuff can do pretty good if you find yeah. the right stuff. So we got some fake Nikes. Obviously, the easiest way to tell. Just look at that, straight up. 
nothing to do with Nike at all. And they want £10. Whoa. Let's put them back. Someone's going to get blagged or they're going to just sit there. Oh, and this nice fake OVO vest as well. Free stuff tends to do quite well for me. Uh, that's £3. This one's £2.75. This one's £3. In fact, this one's got a couple of marks in it, so I'll leave that one. So there's some Reese trousers, but £6. So they do well, but it's not going to fit our criteria for today. And again, yeah, they're not they're not bangerish. They go for like twenty-five pounds or that. But we're gonna try and stay disciplined, and we're gonna just we're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna leave it. Now I was looking at this. This is an Escort toy, really vintage. And I thought, okay, if it's fifty p, I'll give it a go. Seven fifty. Oh, wow, boy. Let's just leave that there. And just stick it back where it belongs. Someone's going for gold with that one because there are so much off like 50 quid. I was looking, but not that one basically. These are seven for all mankind. There's a the label, yeah, seven for all mankind boot cut jeans. I think they're in the wrong section because these are meant to be women's jeans. Normally, when it's men, they actually tell you inside the label four pounds 50, potential 35 40 pounds. So that's non bad. I think I'm gonna give this one a go. This is like a Levi's belt, but it's got that kind of Y2K feel to it. I mean, Y2K look to it. Just look at the randomness of it. It's missing a V. Why does it say levels? I'm second guessing it now. Normally they have some sort of inscription on it, so I don't know. Probably gonna leave it. I'll leave it. It's just giving me the heebie jeebies a bit. This could be the bang of the day, possibly. So this is a Rotring art pen set. Just depends if everything's in it, if everything works the way it's meant to work. Uh, press. Oh, press Ooh, look at that German engineering. I think this was a catch and slipping kind of find. Could be pretty good, like three pound. Just looking at some of the comps here now. Let me see if I can turn it up a bit. And you can see there, like that's a very similar one, set free, boxed up, and that went for 110 pound. So potentially. We could get up towards that amount, not sure if there's anything missing or whatever you call it. So I think because I'm on my five pound run, I'm having to look at other stuff now and have to be a bit more meticulous. And I think I would have I would have missed that for definite if I was just on the one of my normal runs. So very chuffed. Found another random long thing. I think this is like a shirt dress for a woman. Paul Smith black. That is nice, you know. I do like this kind of stuff, but there's no price. So again. You know the rules. This could be a disappointment or it could be a good one. Do you know how much this is? This has no label on it. Uh, Do you want a quick check? £54. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's fine. A bit of a result. £3.50. We can't complain of that, can we? So, I'm going to get some of the treats for the girls. I think they'll like one of these. And this will do pretty good. This is a Hugo Boss jacket. And just slender, nothing crazy like it's got that nice kind of two material detail, but it's £15. So, another one I probably would have picked up that nice pocket detail Adidas thing. It is a newer label, so it's not like amazing, but £7.50. Probably get like £25 for that, or well, maybe 20 So, we're gonna leave it. You go, Boss Orange. Ugh. But it's in there, I don't you can see it's £9. For polo shirt, I think that's a bit too much anyway. So, I'm not going to cry over that too much. I've also got this barber one here, and that's £6.50. Again, wouldn't really bang. But we're going to leave it. Ugh, what am I doing to myself? Oh, that wolf jumper. Absolutely proud. It's a diesel jumper. It's £8. Man, I would have scoffed that all day. But no, it's not me. They don't sell very well, though, to be fair. So I think I'm saving myself because emotionally, I would have had that. I wouldn't have thought about it. It's a bit heavy, that, that Victor Rolf. Is it Victor Rolf bomb? Yeah, flower bomb. Victor Rolf flower bomb. Eighty-six pound. They're just making prices here, aren't they? I think it's more expensive even in Debenhams. Standard Adidas thing. Got a nice little stripe on it. I think it could be all right. To be fair, if it was all right, but twenty quid. Not today. Just everything just seems to be like highly priced in this one. So Oxfam is not going to be the one for me today. I don't think. So yeah, we're going to leave it. Uh, let's see if there's anything here. I don't know what it is, I'm feeling this wooden solitaire game. This solitaire thing, right? I'm not sure, the marble might be nice, I'm not sure. Could it be vintage? Yeah. Looks vintage, I don't know, just buy. 
how it's been done. I'm not sure. Could be wrong. But it's four pounds. I think we might as well give it a go. Oh, very beautiful. Yeah, sorry. Ornate. <laughs> Thank you so Good. much. Thank you no, okay, yeah, that's all I could do because I know that. Well, I know. that might be nothing, but I always like to try different know. stuff and like research it, learn from it, and just see what. Four pounds for that? I don't think it's too bad. Look at them. How patriotic are those Y fronts? Get me all teary eyed, to be honest. No way. I'm just checking the comps in it, and one of them for twenty pound here. But look at them two at the top. Seventy odd pound for them two. What? Look at that. £70 for some Y front. Oh, no. Could it bang? When I say bang, I mean like 10 times it. Do you know what I mean? So could you sell them for like 70 quid? Yeah, you're probably looking at about 20 odd pound, 25 pound. Yeah, cool though. I think those jockey ones were the ones which are like super rare. But these are just like your classic ones, so. Right, I'll just leave it. So close, a pair of Y fronts nearly made me slip. But I powered through, resisted temptation. Let's keep going. You can tell I'm making up as I go along now. Look at this. Carnival de Venezia. Venezia. I don't know. I think it'd be cool though, actually. Someone might like that as a decoration, but it feels really quality. And it's $4.99. Clean safe. Now there's no way I can leave these. Because these do bang. These are a pair of Levi's twisted jeans. Very Y2K. You can tell by the back, it's just it's that different different style like they don't have a bad one normally it's got that kind of chore look to him but the six pound but I can ten times these easy I'm gonna bring the comps up you can see the comps easy easy money definitely taking these ones I broke the rule but if you can ten times it I said then we can have it this is a nice Jay Lindeberg polo shirt you can sell for like 20 pounds tomorrow like they do quite well it's like um it's, I'm pretty sure it's golf stuff. Give it a go. We'll give that one a go. It's, oh, it's £3.50. We're sticking to it, trust me. This is a Uniqlo JW Anderson or J Wanderson. Just standard t shirt. It's £3. We can go for about, again, 17, 18 quid. So we're taking that as well. Couldn't work out what these were until I pulled them out properly. Look at them. Oh, no, they're not. Freaking crap. Yo, it said Valentino cargo trousers. And it's George. <laughs> got caught slipping there, mate. But it's not pretty good. This is a burghouse. It's got that kind of technical feel to it. And it's £4.50. A size large. Yeah, it's in good condition as well. Easy. Easy money. I like this stuff can do quite well. Like, I've sold some of this for like £30 before, so £4.50. Not bad. And here are a classic Stone Island on the fruit of the loom. <laughs> So I think someone still buy that, you know, but I don't entertain fakes, so. That could be all right, could it? Three pound. And it's an XL. Sold as seen, if you know what that means. I'm gonna leave that one, it's a bit decked up, so. It's all right, Let's keep going. Got through the men's a bit too quickly, so I thought I might as well look at some of the women's stuff. And I found an absolute banger. This is Pangea, Pangea, four pound. These can go for a nice bit of money, this. So, tracksuits go for like 100 plus. Pretty sure this can go for a good bit of money, so chuff with that, and it's four pound. I think this discreet skirt might do okay. This is House of CB. Just uh, a little bit out there, but it's 100% leather. It's heavy as well, to be fair, but I think that'll be a really nice one. Got that big chunky zip on the side as well. Obviously, it's not my style, but I think we could do all right without. That's called me a women's reseller now, because all the heat's on this side of the world. Sandro Paris, not a crazy top, but just a nice top nonetheless. Four pound again. Yo, have I been missing a trick? Man, I should have been going down the women's bit. All in all, not bad at all. That didn't have to rhyme, but I made it happen, yeah. Check this out, check this out. Jeez, jeez, jeez. A bit battered now, aren't they? What do you reckon? What are they? Pop. You got the Biscoff Biscoff. Yeah. You got cinnamon glazed. Yeah. And you got the red velvet tea. No, no, right now. <laughs> no, you're not having a bit, man. I'm taking them home. I'll take them home. Are you going to. Get off. Someone said in the comments that you have no clothes, all you wear is pajamas. Is that true? Truth is, it's not your business. <laughs> if you're in your own home, what would you, why would you wear anything else? Exactly. 
But tonight I've wore a jumper because I feel self-conscious about it. It's all right, mate. Yeah. So I challenge myself to stay on the five pound. Okay. I already told you this, not. Uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, so I tried That's to stand. It. I tried to stay on the five pound. Right. If I went over, if I went over five pound, gets ten times it. You have to times by ten, at least. Okay. So you could be the judge. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. First one. Two. <laughs> no, <that's> <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I picked it up because it's fibre and I think it's a bit unique, isn't it? You know I mean? It feels a bit original. It's not like it wasn't, you didn't get it from B&M, do you know what I mean? No, yeah. Paid up on these bad, you know. Paid up, man. Is that so? Like, did you actually, are you just saying that? Can we find that? Are they one? cheap? It was £6. <laughs> did you have a pair of these? Everyone wanted twisted, didn't they, back in the day, didn't they? Did you have twisted? I wanted them. I've sold a pair for £90 before. So you can 10 times it. Yeah. So you're going to put a 60 at Conservative? Just put 60 down. Yes. It has to be at 60. Least. Yeah, so it has to be 60 or else. 90 quid though. Yeah, so they are really good jeans and they're getting harder and harder to find, so. Buzzing with them. Red Dwarf. You like Red Dwarf, don't you? Mate, it was like one of my favourite things growing up, man. Did you ever watch it? I you watch it? I'm sorry, Pete. I've, I've like, it's been on the telly, but I've not sat and watched it. Like, it's just, it looks like they're in the same scene the whole time talking. It's just a bit. How can you watch young ones? Yeah. How can you watch young ones? Yeah? They have, they have different scenes. They have different hey, scenes. Hey. House, outside, car. Oh, house, house. This. They're literally just there this. in the shit the whole time. It's like, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? You, you have to listen to the dialogue. The dialogue uh, is peak, man. The dialogue is peak comedy. It's absolutely hilarious, man. We're going to have to watch it, man. Right, we're not selling these, we're watching these, okay? VHS, so we've got, we got blue tape in <laughs> <laughs> And then these, a pair of Edwin jeans. Okay. They were three pounds. Three pounds. Come on. You think I'm lying, don't you now? Trust me, look. Trust. No, sorry. Three pound fifty. Date, you lied. You was lying. Three pound fifty for a pair of Edwins. Yo. This thing. You're not going to dock a phone on there, are you? You can dock a phone in there. Can you? iPhone four, like an iPhone four S or something. I've got my iPhone four upstairs. I'm gonna charge it. I'm not charged. I think for years, man. Yo. I should use that. Sleep your neck. I'm putting buzz, buzz actually because I really want to do that. Check it out. Got my uh, iPhone 4S. Oh yeah. From day. And the chargers were like that as well, weren't they? Yeah, you can see there. It's that whole thing. Hold on, let me see if it fits. Let me see it. Like a glove. Let's see if it charges. Yo. Let's see what. There's gonna be some tunes on that man. Trust me. It's absolute tune. It's gonna lead up there now until it turns on. Paul Smith dress, shirt, dress. That is nice. Do you like it? Yeah. Come on. 40 quid. I'm gonna say 40, just because it's really nice. And I've got a steamer as well. So You've got a steamer? Yeah. <laughs> I have something that steams things. I do not have a steamer. <laughs> Freaking hell. Not. Okay, so I went out today to find a picture frame. Yep. I did find one item. Yep. Okay. Speaking of impressing me, I picked it up because it did impress so it was it is not was it's a burberry london shirt burb got the burb with the check collar and how sick is that the cuffs as well sick man so that was 10 pound but you could possibly resell it for 100 pound so you've 10 times it yep nice absolutely beautiful thing um, well yeah very nice well done Laura. good job So in total we picked up 20 items for a... What was it? 6.91 6.91 Can't get this stuff can you? So in total we picked up 20 items costing £74.99 With a resale value of £691 That's the phone then? No, you can't take it out, it'll die, it's take got it cobwebs 
No, 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 go on. I, I believe in it. Best picture, me and my dad, when I was in the cops. 2013. Aww. Went to his house. Oh, I love school. that. Yeah. So that was one of the very first things I sold. It was a Playmobil pirate ship. And it was £75. This was a Mulberry shirt. I picked up when I went to Matlock in 2017. <laughs> I picked it up for £5 and I sold it for £50. I then realised clothes are really good to sell. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel because we do these videos all the time when we go out to different places. And 